Mohammed El Musaid, pictured here with his family, had worked for the same company for more than 20 years. He says he was sacked last April because he is a Shia Muslim. We didn't commit any mistake. I mean, uh, our second was purely on sectarian ground. Human rights groups and activists say that more than 60 people have been killed, including four policemen, since the crackdown began on Bahrain's Shia-led protesters last February. Yes! Nearly 2,000 mainly Shia Muslim employees in the public and private sector who were sacked still haven't been given their jobs back. That's according to the latest figures from Bahrain's Federation of Trade Unions. Mohammed says his company claimed his dismissal was because he missed days at work during the demonstrations. Many people were accent because the uh, road were not secure to work, you know. And uh, we heard many stories about people being beaten in the way to their work. So there was a lot of fear, really. A detailed independent inquiry into human rights abuse allegations concluded, among other things, that many of the thousands of people who were detained were tortured, that Shia religious buildings were destroyed, and people lost their jobs as punishment for their perceived participation in the protests. Mohammed was a supervisor of engineering for one of Bahrain's blue chip companies. I was earning more than $5,000. Now I earn nothing. Bahrain's king has indeed insisted that sacked employees are given their jobs back, and the Ministry of Labour has promised what it describes as a two-phase plan to ensure companies reinstate their employees. If really Bahrain wants to gain its credibility, you know, they should, they should implement this. With no work on the horizon, Mohammed's struggle to support his family continues, and so do the protests. Bahrain's majority Shia population say they will not give up their demands for a greater say in their future. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.